Hi, girls and boys. Today, we're going to read all about polar bears. What a great topic. This book's title is Polar Bears. It's a nonfiction book. So it's not going to be a story about a polar bear. It's going to tell us all about them. It's going to give us true facts. The author of this book is Kate Riggs. She wrote all the words. There's no illustrator in a nonfiction book because they take photographs, pictures taken with a camera, to teach us all about something. And we have to study the photographs very carefully to see what we can learn from those because we learn in nonfiction books not just from the words but also from the photographs. This photograph looks like it's a baby polar bear. So cute. Polar Bears by Kate Riggs. Let's find out some of the key details that we could learn about polar bears in this nonfiction book. We'll check out the table of contents first. Icy bears, page six. White on white, page eight. Noses and claws, page 11. Time to eat, page 12. Baby polar bears, page 14. What do polar bears do, page 16. Goodbye polar bears, page 18. Picture a polar bear, page 20. Oh, I want to know all the different parts of a polar bear. I'm going to look at the diagram. I think I'll go straight to page 20. Oh, the words to know the glossary is on page 22. That's like a special dictionary that tells us what all of the special words mean about this topic. And the index is in the very back of the book. It'll tell us what page those special words is on. Let's go to the diagram first. In a nonfiction book, I don't have to start at page one. I could start wherever I wanted, and I want to start at the diagram. What page is the diagram on? It's on page 20. Is that page 20? No. That's 13. Is that page 20? No. That's page 17. Let's see. There. It's not so blurry anymore. Now you can see it. Ah, here's page 20. Here's our diagram. Wow. There's his ear and his eye. Oh, his snout. That must be a special word for nose. Legs, paw. So this part of his foot is called his paw. Claws. Oh, here's a close-up picture of his fur. Oh, okay, so the part that comes out is called his snout, but the very tip of it is called his nose. And these are his teeth. Oh, he looks like he has front teeth just like us, but then he has great big sharp teeth too. All right, well now we know some of the, some of the parts They've been all labeled. I just love the diagrams in a nonfiction book. I want to know some of the special words that I'll be reading about in this book that you would use if you were talking about polar bears. Here's our words to know section, our glossary, and it tells us what the special words mean. I can see our special words in this book are going to be claws, fur, and walruses. Claws are curved, pointy nails on the paw. Well, just like a cat. A cat has claws on his paw. They're like fingernails that come out of their paws. Fur is the short, hairy coat of an animal. Walruses are ocean animals related to seals that have two long teeth called tusks. Okay, I think I'm ready to read about this topic. Now, even though I don't have to start in the very beginning, sometimes I like to. That helps me make sure that I read all of the information and learned all of the key details. Key details are the things that you learn about a topic in a nonfiction book. Hello, polar bears. Polar bears are big bears. They live in cold and icy places. 
Oh, that picture looks cold. That photograph looks very cold. It's all blue and white. I see a lot of snow and ice. Polar bears have thick fur. It is white, just like the snow and ice. I wonder why their fur is white. What do you think? Maybe it helps them hide. Yeah. If I was another animal, I might not see them because they're white and the snow is white. And from far away, I might not see them. Maybe they use their white fur like camouflage. Polar bears have black noses. Polar bears use claws to walk on ice. Oh, and I see his black nose. This photograph goes very well with the information on this page. I like how they're careful to select a good photograph that goes with the information they're trying to teach us on each page. That's a good key detail to know, that polar bears are white and have black noses. They use their claws to walk on the ice. It probably helps them so they don't slip. I've been on ice before when I go ice skating and it's very slippery. These claws probably help them grip. Polar bears eat meat. They hunt for seals and walruses. These must be those walruses. Remember, walruses was one of our special words. That's why they made it look different than the rest of the text. Some nonfiction books will make it really dark or really big. That's called bold text. This book chose to make it a different color. That's a walrus. They eat, the polar bears eat the walrus. Baby polar bears are called cubs. Cubs live with their mother. Adults live alone. So the mommies and daddies don't live together. The cubs live with their moms and the adults live by themselves unless they have babies. And then the mom keeps the babies with her. What were those babies called? Cubs. That's a good key detail to know too. Polar bears like to swim. They watch for seals to pop out of the water. Goodbye, polar bears. Well, there's our index. The index is always at the back of the book and it tells us what page those special words appear on. Nice. What are some of the key details that you learned about polar bears? Can you name five things that you learned about polar bears? Go tell an adult five key details that you learned about polar bears from this nonfiction book.